So in this tutorial, we're going to look at connecting a mobile device to a session of Fologram running in Rhino. And we'll be viewing the model which we went through in the previous tutorial on preparing models for augmented reality. Made a couple of small changes to this model. Specifically, I've added in some contours for demonstrating changing layers. So each one of these contours through the model is on its own sublayer, and we'll be able to turn those on and off on our device. And I've created the, um, the circle pattern <clears throat> using as few polygons as possible. So we're going to stream this over to our mobile phone um, by clicking on the connect a device button in the Fologram panel. If your Fologram panel isn't visible, you can make sure that it appears by typing the Fologram command in Rhino to open the Fologram panel. So let's connect this up making sure that our mobile device and our laptop running Rhino are on the same local Wi-Fi network. We recommend using a hotspot on your mobile phone for this. <clears throat> so I'll hit connect to device, and then on my mobile, I'll scan the connection QR code, and then I can place that model in my physical space. And it's pretty big. Um, there it goes there, it's just rotated around. Rotate it so we can see it. Now we've got this model in AR. Now this is a live connection to Rhino, so any changes that we make in Rhino are going to be immediately visible in augmented reality. If I add geometry to my Rhino scene, I'll just add a sphere at the origin, that's going to show up in AR, and I can then edit that geometry when we don't have the edit menu open <coughs> on my mobile device. We need to make sure that we are actually um, working with the right settings here. So I had near interaction and cursor interaction on, which was preventing me from grabbing and dragging that sphere around. But you can tap and drag on any object in Rhino and manipulate that object. Two finger drags are gonna scale the object. Single finger drags are gonna move that object around. And if you want to undo a change that you've made to your model, you can undo it in Rhino. So undo is all through the Rhino session. <clears throat> There's no geometry creation happening in Fologram. Everything is running through Rhino. So if you need to edit the geometry in any way other than through transforms, you'll need to do that uh, within your um, uh, Rhino model.